is the Pyro Archon. Marika, the first DPS Archon that we're going to have in Genshin Impact. Far, all the Archons have not been DPS characters, but rather they have been supports. They always manage to help the team in one way or another and in the most part even though you can use all of them to deal some really good damage great damage in fact and their clear role just has been a support whether the Raiden Shogun you're using Raiden's burst to obviously you're going to deal some damage but it was mostly used to fill out the other characters burst back up using the burst and with that you could really help dish out some more damage and her elemental skill really helps out with the energy regeneration too and we've also had nahida nahida was a character that is incredibly useful as a support and a sub dps as well which we've seen a lot of archons do that already and not to mention that the elemental burst from Nahida just absolutely gives so many buffs to certain elements and the element that you have in the burst's field. So yeah, there's that. And then there's Venti with the crowd control and animal. So you can uh, do a lot of animal shredding. And we had Furina, which gave you a bunch of damage increase and healing also. So that's pretty cool and we've got Zhongli and his big dong. I meant big shield. <laughs> of course I meant big shield. And it's just so evident that Archons just are supports. What can a Pyro character give? So we've seen characters that are Pyro that are 5 star tend to really be just damage dealers. We've seen Arlecchino. 5 star damage dealer. We've seen Hu Tao, 5 star damage dealer. Klee, 5 star damage dealer. Diu, 5 star damage dealer. The only one that was supposed to be a sort of damage dealer was Dia, but they failed her immensely and she ended up being just simply a tank. And generally, it's not really bad. You know, you could have a damage dealer, you could have a tank, you could have a support. In any case, the Pyro Archon is going to be great. But if we think about it, 5 star Pyro characters just seem to be DPS characters. And if we keep that trend going, would it be a better bet to assume that we, she would follow suit with the Pyro characters and be a DPS? Or would she just stick with the Archons and be a support? Well, I certainly do hope that she would stick with the Archons and be a support. Because the supports tend to be just long lasting. You could use them in multiple teams. And they would generally just be really good. And won't be outclassed really quickly. Versus having power creep with a lot of the DPS characters the ones that are releasing recently are generally are just sort of stronger than the ones that have been released in the past. I mean, that's sometimes the case, not always. I think if we have a support, we can see Mavika be used for a long time, the same like we do with the other Archons. And I really, really do hope that. Because, okay, <clears throat> I'm sorry Venti, but I know you're an exception, but other Archons we do use very often. I really do hope that's the case or we could see maybe a hybrid type situation like we have with the Raiden Shogun where we could deal damage with the burst and the elemental skill would be most of or the elemental skill would be the one that's giving the possible attack buff or whatever it is that the Pyro Archon is going to get although that would seem mostly the case since we've had Pyro characters generally give a attack buff like we've had with Chivarus like we've had with Bennett, I like see some you know attack buffs here and there, or they're just damage dealers. And I I just I just hope it's one or the other. And if I had to guess something about her kit, it would probably be something like she would be a catalyst character, or a claymore. That's that's what I'm thinking. And the elemental skill would somehow ignite the claymore or just give you more damage on your normal attacks. And then the elemental burst would be something to help give buffs or generally just do more damage across the board. And I, if that's the case, that'd be insane. 
at the end of the day, it is all speculation. None of this is confirmed, not by Genshin, not by Hoyoverse, not by whoever uh, official. It's just speculation by me, purely, purely just things I'm thinking about out loud. Yeah. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Is she going to be Genshin's first DPS Archon? Or is she going to stick to the support role that Archons tend to usually have? But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.